I made a secret YouTube channel to prove it's not luck. Ludwig, if you had to start your channel over, what would you do? I think they're mostly asking so they can just do that and hopefully get successful. But I was kind of wondering, what would I do? How would I get successful if I couldn't use my face, my voice, or any of my current following? Would I... What does he do here? Stick with 10 viewers? Would I get to 100? Would Why I get are you laughing? Uh -huh. views? I don't know. So, I've made a brand new channel. And today, I'm going to find out if YouTube is mostly based on luck or mostly based on skill. I even called up a good friend of mine to see what his thoughts on this theory was. And I think he knows like a thing or two about YouTube. Like he's, he's on. Oh, that's definitely not me. Success there. Hey, Siri, call Jimmy Beast. Yo, Jimmy. What up, dog? I have a question for you. Hey, man. Uh, I'm trying to do a YouTube video. Dude, he's trying to flex so fucking hard. All right, I can call Jimmy too. And then the premise of the YouTube video I can call is Jimmy too. a brand new channel from scratch and trying to see if I can get views without my current name. Do it, pussy. Okay. And I was. Yo. Jimmy, do you want to the party? Hi, I was just wondering what time you guys are open till. Nine. Okay, thank you. First ring two, get fucked. <clears throat> Wondering how much of YouTube you think is luck versus skill. Um, it's ninety nine percent skill. You, you, if you knew what you were doing, you could do that one hundred percent. All right. So if Mr. Beast thinks it's ninety nine percent skill and not that luck based, then I should be able to get some amount of success. So I'm gonna set a challenge. I'm gonna give myself twenty four hours to get at least one thousand views. It's not hundreds of thousands and it's not millions, but I'm limited in what. I totally agree. I think Twitch is a lot of it is. I think there's a lot of skill in almost anything. I think people who say luck are, and just want to say that because they just want to feel better about themselves that they're not trying. I do think it's a lot of skill, almost all skill. I really do believe that. I really do. Assets I can use, I can't use my own face and I can't use my own voice, but I still <laughs> think <laughs> I can get a thousand views in less than a day. YouTube or Twitch? Uh, they kind of go hand in hand. Twitch is definitely impossible. If you're just gonna try to stream to zero viewers, you'll never grow. It's impossible. You know what? If I don't. I'll delete my main channel. That's how confident I am. So here's what I did. I wrote out a script of a video that I thought would be pretty good. It's kind of like a video essay, but it's on Twitch streamers. Specifically, my good friend Mizkiff. What is going on? What? Dude, wrong video to put out. I'm getting shit-faced while I beat Lud and Smash. You guys remember the stream? And then I hired someone on Fiverr to read out the exact script. All right, here's the script I wrote out. It's called How a Door Made This Man One Million Dollars. That was one dollars. And then I recorded myself. The pandemic will be remembered as a time of economic. That was one. <laughs> I watched that. America. Why do I sound like a journalist? I sound like a news anchor. But I don't want to have myself read it because people know what my voice sounds like. So that's not really going to fly. I got four. So instead, what I did is I hired someone on Fiverr. In total, Wait, it cost me 130 I, He gave me 50 bucks for this. Oh my god! And remember, I remember I watched. I watched it live. I had I had no idea. I swear, I had no. Remember he got he gave me fifty bucks and I watched it. One dollars. The reason it, for he's that right. Is mostly because I needed the rights to use it in my own YouTube. Wait, video that's nuts. Reasons, which is super fair and a really good thing that the Fiverr artist put in. So you know I have no problem with that at all. But it should be free for you guys at home. And then I hired an editor. And this also is not something you have to do at home. You could just you know get editing tools some costs money but even those ones you could get if you know exactly he's right chat just steal them where to get it and then edit yourself i didn't do this because you know i'm still i'm doing this on the side it's like a fun little project but here's what the final video the looks like the largest streaming platform twitch has over doubled their monthly average viewers according to twitch tracker the pandemic created Looks pretty good. I'm really happy with how the video- Bro, this stroked my ego so hard. Thank you, Lud. It turned out, and now here's my plan. So I've made this video. It's like a three minute, 45 second video essay on specifically Mizkiff. And the reason I did it on Mizkiff is one, because I think I have a decent amount of knowledge on this. So I'm speaking as an authority writing, but also I know one thing about streamers and it's the same thing that got me to sell merch by using TTS before. 
they have huge inflated egos. So uh -huh. if I have this video uploaded and some- hey, can you blame a man after all these years? Come on. Somehow get Mizkip to click on the video, he'll probably watch it. So that's my- <laughs> Do you see me? I'm going- Plan right now. And if I can get Miz- he I'm the easiest streamer to farm. Can we all agree? I'm actually the easiest streamer to farm. Because I my severe ADHD makes me click every single- I Like, there are some of my viewers out there, I have clicked hundreds of their links. Because they link the same- they say like, dude, look what Shroud said about you, PogChamp. And then it's just a video of twice dancing. And they do it off stream too. Like, I get rolled in my meetings. I skip to watch this on stream in front of about 45,000 people. Free mark- dude, Lud, I'm asking for 300 grand from an NFT place and they're in my chat. You're, you're saying you got- you got a three minute video for 50 bucks. Well, I think that's a win, but also a lot of them will click on it and I think there's a chance that this video might get a decent amount of views. Shit. So let's create the channel. What do I want to call it? What's like something that would be Twitch friendly? We got rolled by this chat. I want rolled on Twitch. To That's come so over, funny. But not too on the nose, like history of Twitch. Who's the one that goes why 50% of people That's me. live south of this line, Canada? Dance, what is that video? Real dance, life dance, lore. Dance, dance, what if I just call it online lore? I kind of like online lore. So let's let's get a profile picture for online lore. Loading screen game. Like, if it's called online lore, and then it's- He didn't have to do any of this, chat. I was gonna click his link. It could have been fucking Ludwig Ogren, and I would still just be like, oh, whatever. It's just a, a Ludwig channel fan, whatever. It's a loading screen? That's kind of a good idea. I kind of like this, but just the center of it. You gave me 50 right, bucks. let's make that the logo. So we'll do this one, but then we'll make it small enough. Nice, that looks amazing. I also need a banner image. That's like a really cute banner. So let's just make that the banner. All right, let's publish. So here's what the channel looks like now. Online lore, it has this little logo, has the loading thing. I really like how it's looking branding wise, but now we need to upload- our He went way too hard on this. I, it, it really didn't matter. I was gonna click it no matter what. Our video. So let me get that pulled up. One quick key, by the way, if you guys are ever uploading videos, they'll use whatever you, the video's file name is for the algorithm in some ways. So basically like as a keyword finder for the search engine, if you have some of the keywords inside nation. All right, let's upload it. Mizkif Twitch streamer. And the actual title for this is, I think I had one. How a door made this streamer $1 million. So now the only thing I have to worry about is the title and the thumbnail. I think the title- We got rolled, baby. We got rolled. So how a door made this streamer $1 million is pretty catchy. It doesn't need to have Mizkif's name in it because a streamer- Because that's bad SEO. It touches more people. Like even though Mizkif's a, a big streamer, most people who know about- He hated saying that. <laughs> don't know who Mizkif is, even with how big he is. And if you do know who Mizkif is, you'll see him in the thumbnail, so you'll click it anyway. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you liked the video, it'd mean the world if you subscribed or shared it with a friend. All right, let's just do that. Keep it simple. I'm That's the friend. All good. That's all good. We'll start it out private and then we'll hit save. So now what we need to do is we need to make a What's thumbnail. So I want a picture of Mizkif, but with the door in focus. Mizkif door. So pretty much also, any of my wait, streams. You know what I could use is his YouTube channel has the intro that he uses every time. Hey. Ooh, I like this one a lot, actually. Ooh. Okay, here's a quick tip for you as well. You can get an extension that helps you screenshot YouTube. You get the extension, and you hit the screenshot button, and then we'll just save that as Ms. Kiff Room, as if I'm organized. That's all for show. I'm such a pussy, I got no shit player. on. Very cool. I like this image a lot, though. Okay. Thank so you. Let's, I designed the room. full door in it, because the door is key. All right, that's, that's really good. Now let's... Get the actual door isolated. Now we have just the door. We can add a drop shadow. Yeah, I think it looks a lot better. Uh, and maybe we just cut out the bottom of the couch. So now can we get that done? Is completely center of the thumbnail. I kind of like that. That seems pretty good. The door seems kind of narrow though, right? Is it crazy to just? What you gave me fifty bucks? I, I you could put a picture of a tryhard. I was gonna click it. I. You Literally went so hard. It artificially. And then let's get a picture of Mizkif. And now the best way to get a thumbnail picture of someone. The best way to get a picture of Mizkif is not to go to his YouTube channel. Is to just go to their YouTube. Oh. These creators literally upload HD pictures of themselves constantly. And you can just take them. <laughs> yeah, now, you're, you're going to have to scroll a little bit to find mine. Not with pink eye. That's a little absurd. This one's pretty fine. 
All right, and then you just hey, go. Quit staring at my boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Only 50 of you guys hey. subscribe to the channel. Okay, you go thumbnail downloader. Sorry for staring at your boxes, Mizzy. <laughs> and then oh, we'll just good. link that. Put it here. Now, I'm no means an expert, so there are probably quicker ways to do everything I'm doing. Dude, it's you killed it. What I'm comfortable with doing and I can do it at a decent pace. So for example, right now I need to isolate just his head. There's like eight different ways to do this. I'm pretty happy with the way that I do this. It leaves with pretty clean lines. Like the content aware one has kind of messy lines, which I don't like. And it also works pretty fast. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that looks pretty good. I think the door doesn't stand out enough. You're messing Amaranth on the side. The door's just a bit small, I think. Okay, maybe I get rid of the stroke, but I have an arrow. For some reason, the arrow makes it just more visible. And I don't like the red stroke around the door. I'm going to go with the arrow. And then let's cap off the thumbnail. Let's title it. Dude, is this what LUD does for every single thumbnail? Like, I'm not kidding you. My editors literally just put whatever girl was on my stream and then a shitty picture of me that they've had in their folder for 12 months. Honestly, I would love to see my YouTube editors' folders. Like, it honestly is pretty much just a fucking porn shoot. Ms. Kiff, Thumbo, final classic YouTube rule. Always title it final. And then let's go to the channel. Here's the video. Let's change the thumbnail. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I kind of, I think this is really catchy. I, I like it a lot. I'm just going to publish it. Now, again, this channel how much? Has, how many views does this video have now? Actually, we'll wait. Literally uh, zero viewers, zero subscribers. How a door made the streamer $1 million. So I think the first thing to do is go to Ms. Kiff's Reddit. Again, the goal is to hit about a thousand views. And I think Ms. Kiff watching this video is a good start. Oh, Meg. Do not take Lud's opinion on this, chat. If you post my content that is not original in my Reddit, it will get removed. And if you are trying to promote yourself, it will get removed. Okay, do not do that. Galol. Mizzy carried by a door. That's like a good clickbait title. Let's just post it. I should have knew the does. second you said Mizzy. The other one. option is to make a new account on Twitch. And then spam it in chat because I think anyone can post links if you're a sub. I'll just do that. And then s a viewers will click on it. They'll like the video and then hopefully they'll send them the video. So let's maybe make a new account. Turbo World News. All right. I think my game plan is I'm going to shower. I'm going to come back and then hopefully they're done with this. And then hopefully by then. <laughs> that's what a lot of people said. And they can watch it. So that's my current game plan. Is, is he here? Now? Is he here? Turbo World News. No, he's not here. I'm grip. I'm gripping the dono. He's watching uh, Emmy Room Code Miko. Yeah. All right, I'm gripping it. Uh, Bro, is simply at his house. What is that? I hope this works. Otherwise, such a waste of fifty bucks. Okay. Wait, it's got fifty bucks. Oh my god! In front of fifty thousand people, too. I, dude. I my god! I hate my life. I actually got rolled. I titled Someone it. Called you the biggest oh, streamer in the world. Dude, Lud knew that that's what would get me. <laughs> Lud knew that that's what would get me. Oh, he flew right into my ego. And it, dude, he soared. Someone called you the biggest streamer in the world for 50 bucks. <laughs> How a door made the streamer a million dollars. Okay, he's hooked. He's hooked. He's hooked. Yes. Dude, that is so fucking good. That is so fucking good. I got rolled. That is so good. my ego. The yes! Will be remembered as a time oh, economic let's story. go! Let's, let's go! Hold on, this guy struck my ego. I'm not listening. Parties in America. He, dude. Well, he's just gonna show a fucking dick. Let's find out. Unless you are a streamer. The largest streaming platform. Do I, do I really watch the whole thing? I wanna read chat. I wanna read chat. Yeah, and people say Twitch is dying and everyone's going to YouTube and blah, 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 and this, this, and that. And then when we double our viewership in one year, eat my ass, chat. But there is a great mystery on what it takes to be one of the biggest streamers in the world. Some hey, why wasn't I put there? Some rise to the top with their world-class gaming skills. Others have developed well-thought-out, unique content that rivals cable television. And then there's Miskiff. Hi! He isn't particularly good at games. <laughs> And sometimes all he does is watch other people's content on his stream. Oh. But as a... Oh. <laughs> 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 He's a top 50 streamer in the world. Easily making over $1 million every year. The reason? The door standing right behind him. It shouldn't come as a surprise. I got rolled, man. I watched this entire thing for 50 bucks. Look. 
Since 2015, 20% of Americans have dropped the service, according to a survey by the Pew Research Center. But that doesn't remove the influence of cable television shows. That is so funny. No further than streamers emulating or straight ripping off popular game shows mm -hmm. for a younger Twitch audience. Hey, Lud, were you throwing some fucking shade at Pay Money Wubby on this video, by the way? Like, I thought you guys were friends. But Miskiff has taken something from six Didn't you write the script? Shows like Seinfeld, Friends, and Happy Days. And Dude, Lud's rolling me part two. I'm watching it again. American staples. The sitcom entrance. When fan favorite characters walk through one of these Russell! Things, American audiences would go wild. If you replace the studio audience with a Twitch chat, Miss Kiff is doing the same thing. Dude, we need a fucking oh, we need a clap track or whatever. This is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. Miss has an open door policy, meaning anyone can not only go to his house, but walk right into his stream room while he's live. The door is more center frame than Miss Kiff. This has led to new Is it really? Is walking through that door with chat able to immediately react to who showed oh, up. Oh, I thought that, that was Kyrie's Collaboration is a staple of growth for any YouTuber or streamer, but the mystery of who will show up on this give his life is what keeps the viewers excited. Bro, imagine train just walked through my fucking door. I would be a dude. <laughs> That'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> about the concept, and although a lot of credit is deserved for the 36 by 80 star. Miss Kiff is also ready to deal with whoever walks through that door. He takes an inherent risk not being able to control who shows up. And even the most disgraced streamers have walked... What? You wrote this script! You know, that makes sense. ...through that door and rehabilitated their image to the point where chat begs for them to come back. Miss Kiff is one of the fastest <laughs> growing streamers on the platform and has catapulted himself from Ice Poseidon's cameraman... Happy to one of six the months smile. ...the biggest creators in the world, all thanks... To a door. All right, here's how I get views now. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe so I know to keep making. What did I do? I don't remember what I did here. Now I watched Lud's entire video, fifty dollars in front of forty-five thousand people. Did I link it because it gave me an ego stroke? I think I did. I think I linked it because I get. I got it. Lud went right for the throat. He knew what to do. Ugh. You don't even you don't even have other videos. I liked it. Oh god. Give me 50 bucks. You know what you're doing. Look, I'll Oh, I called one out. I knew. Post it once. Woo! I'm a cheap Woo! God, you're so Let's bad. go. Oh, People uh, just watched that. Yeah, that was big. I liked it. Oh, and it's getting blown up in the goddamn. Listen, I have an open door. With Gino, you saw, did he pay you 50 bucks too? Policy for one reason. Because I have no content of my own. That's everything I wanted. All right, now the question <laughs> He is, got everything he wanted. Jack, I said I have no content. Holy shit, no, look at the likes. 225 likes. The goal was a thousand views. We're already at 260. Yeah. I'm curious now if people click on it, the positive reception, if I get good watch through. Oh, look at this. I know. Holy shit. This is insane. Wait. That's crazy. That one was so nice. I know. Because it was just good content, which is one of the key takeaways. It was actually good content. And it was three minutes and 48 seconds. If this was like a... Want to chat if you got rolled and went there and said, yo. 15 minute video, Ms. Kip would have clicked out probably four minutes in. He would have stopped farming jokes, been like, I'm tired of this. And then he would have moved on. So uh, luckily, it kept it short, kept it sweet. I'm curious how this will do in a week. Look at this. This is going to hit a thousand almost yeah. within the first few minutes. It's been about four days since I uploaded this video. I spent about $600 to make it with the editor, the voiceover guy, and then the marketing efforts. And here's how it's doing. Currently, yeah. the video is sitting at about 11,000. What? I now make sense why there's a thousand clip channels with my fucking name on it. In views. The channel is at about yep. one. Dude, chat, that is so worth it. Lud spent $600 and, and it started a career on YouTube thousand subscribers and you can check right now this isn't all views from like direct clicking you know those are the views that i quote unquote paid for right that's the views that i got Ms. kip to click it and then everyone from Ms. Kip's chat went to watch it but the key to all youtube success is views under this category that means algorithm views and 30 percent of all the views in this video are from the algorithm 3.5 thousand which is huge that's a big number uh looks like chat i think this video i really am understanding what the point of it
It's trying to show you guys that I just make careers come out of thin air. I don't even mean to do it. And I just make careers happen all the time. It's incredible. That is insane. I made another career for Lud. Another one. You're welcome, buddy. Umberg. And this, although it doesn't look that good... If you ever want me to watch the yard, just hit me up. It's not that bad. If the line is flat, that means people who figured out what this video is about, and, you know, the people who didn't click out immediately, liked the video. They sat almost all the way through it. Damn! Obviously, there's a huge drop-off because a lot of these people watched it with Mizkif and then immediately left or the pandemic whatever it was. Is it? Jesus Christ, man. Come on, you're British. I get it, but let me do my thing. Really good stats all around. I'm really happy with it. <laughs> Honestly, after this video goes out... I'm sure it'll blow up a lot more. I think this video will end up with 100k views. So it kind of got a little out of hand, but I really believe in this video. I really believe in the process that made this video, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's not millions. It's not enough to go full time, but it's a start, and it's better than 95% of YouTube videos uploaded. And all it came down to was good content, good thumbnailing, good titling, and also, admittedly, a smart way to get it in front of people who are interested in this type of content. No, it's also having a fucking dumbass who has no content and reacts to everything. Content. This could feasibly be done by anyone with just $50. I mean, maybe less if you go for a little smaller streamer who pays attention to his donations a little more. Mizkif, come on. I, Bro, I would have done it for 10 bucks. I hope this was cool and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you guys did, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Maybe I'll continue uploading on the online lore channel. So go check that one out as well. And thanks for watching. See you later. Goodbye. I got shit on. Dude, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? How a door made Mizkif. How a door made Mizkif a million dollars. And then think about people reacting to it. The pandemic will be remembered as a time of... 2.4k likes? You're so stupid. Wow, a lot of you showed up. Thanks to Mizki for watching it. Let me know want me to make a video on next. You even went the extra mile. Asmongold, dude, you made a whole channel. You have a following. I agree. What do you guys think? I truly do believe that a lot of YouTube is skill. I think that anyone, if, if you were, you would be really smart. Like, the thing is, like, Lud knows exactly what to do because Lud is that person, right? Lud is a content creator, um, and he understands what gets him to react, right? Which, obviously, is money. So, I do believe that there is a lot of luck or a lot of skill in making videos, right? Like, what did I do when I first made videos? I gave it to Erob because I know Erob has absolutely no content, right? But you have to make sure it's good videos, God, that was nasty. We got shit on chat.